Hey guys, this is going to be an unboxing and quick look at the new Apple iPhone 6. Uh, so I'm just going to open it up and see what's inside. Alright, so this is uh, the 64 gig version AT&T Space Gray. So here we go. Not going to drop it. <laughs> Ta-da! So, uh, I'm going to put this on the side. Uh, in the box, in the box, you just have your, you know, your uh, install guides and stuff like that. Uh, this is just a diagram showing you what the buttons uh, user guide, and you have your Apple stickers as usual. Uh, and then we also have your standard uh, earbuds, Apple ear, ear pods. You have your uh, wall charger and you have your lightning cable, standard lightning cable. So looking at the phone, obviously we finally get a bigger iPhone. Uh, I'm going to I'm touching. <laughs> so, uh, this is the Space Gray iPhone. Um, it's the iPhone 6, so not the 6 Plus, but the regular 6. It's a 4.7 inch, 4.7 inch display. Um, going around the phone, you have the Touch ID button, home button down here. Uh, you have your volume, volume rocker on the left side. Um, also, the power button has moved from the top to now on the right side. And then you have, on the bottom, you have your speaker grill, your lightning ports, and your auxiliary. Um, on the back, you have your rear-facing camera right there. It's an 8 megapixel, uh, but the new ones now have OIS uh, image stabilization. So I'm just going to boot it up, get it set up and uh, we'll compare it to some other phones. Uh, the screen kind of curves off to the side. Um, so when you're, when you're swiping off to the side, it um, feels quite smooth. And on the back, you will notice that the camera is a bit raised. Let me see if I can focus on that. Not really, but you can kind of see that it is raised a bit. Um, so if you're putting it down on a table, yeah, it feels fine. <laughs> yeah. I saw a video where this guy was like, it kind of rocks a little bit, but it's no big deal. Okay, going back to some of the specs. Um, so, uh, like I said earlier, it's a 4.7 inch display. Uh, the resolution is just 1334 by 750 um, so I think that's kind of a bummer that it's not even 1080p um, but I think it's supposed to be the same PPI as the iPhone 5 um, it has the new A8 processor also it ships with the new iOS 8 um, also it is very thin it's 6.9 millimeters thin um, so if we compare the size to some of the other phones we have, I have here, this is the iPhone 4. Um, we also, I also have the Samsung Galaxy S4. And I have the Galaxy Note 2 here. So you can see in size, um, it's pretty similar to the S4. Um, but if you look at the thickness, it is definitely a lot, it's considerably thinner than the S4. If you look, go back to something like the uh, iPhone 4, um, also a lot thinner. And, um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people um, don't like these bigger phones because they, they're worried that it won't fit in their pocket or something, but I regularly use the Note 2. Um, 
And uh, I think as long as they're not fat, then I think they're good. Um, I know some people have concerns with the six plus if they put their phones in their back pocket that it's gonna crack their phone or something when they when they sit down. But so yeah, um, screen tapers off on the ends, which is nice. You have your Touch ID here. Um, so one of the new features is Apple. Uh, Apple Pay, which you, works in conjunction with um, the Touch ID. Um, oop, because ah, it's not my phone, so I can't unlock it. Um, what else? So yeah, um, Apple Pay does use NFC, um, but that's all you can use the NFC, NFC for. Um, so yeah, iOS 8. Of course, with the 6, you don't get the horizontal um, function, which I think is kind of lame. Only the 6 Plus gets the horizontal function, function. Um, but I'm, uh, I bet we'll get it in the future. Um, yeah, so that was a unboxing and quick look at the new iPhone 6. If you guys have any questions, give me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming and tech videos. Thanks for watching.